having a hard time with the timing when you talk about when we croak and what we do when we go back and we come back and we've lived many lives, you've told us, how we make contracts with our children, how we made a contract with our parents. How does that happen when we're here and they're there? I would like to know that. Do you accept that while you are this physical being that you're also a non-physical vibrational consciousness? Of course. And do you accept that when you're having a conversation with someone, with Esther, or it's different with Abraham or with a friend, that when you're having a conversation that there are words that are being exchanged but there are more than words that are being exchanged in the getting to know each other that there's a vibrational dialogue going on yes so sometimes people are aware of it a bit they call it body language they can tell someone's bothered because humans often don't say what they're thinking and that's actually a good thing that you don't say everything that you're thinking but there are conversations going on all the time that are more than just the words that you're exchanging so during the days that we are together we would like it if you would come around to understanding that when you're visiting with a friend there's a conversation that includes what's going on with the two of you vibrationally but when a third one enters the room the vibrational atmosphere shifts and when somebody else enters a room the vibrational atmosphere shifts again when you begin through meditation or appreciation to connect more and more with your inner being with the larger part of you that's when the conversation really begins to shift because there is an optimistic point of view an understanding of your power and your worthiness that becomes part of the equation that really is a life transforming thing for you and if you don't resist it that connection with that broader part of you who knows so much about you and who is in fact the biggest part of the when you're in sync with it of the attraction power that comes to you in other words you've heard us say that when you are connected to your source you're more powerful than a million who are banging around together not connected to their source and so there's a lot of leverage in that connection so since you're talking about the non-physical we want you to start there with that everyone who you ever knew that has made their transition into non-physical is now in that pure positive energy where there's no resistance present and so their part of the dialogue is really important but you hold the keys here in this physical form about whether you invite them in because they don't get to assert themselves did you hear this we've not had this conversation before have we they do not get to assert themselves into your experience just by noticing you or by loving you or by being your own inner being because it's attraction 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 and if you are not receptive to that you hold the keys that let that in so getting back to your question when any of you we appreciate that you used our disrespectful word croak because there is no death when you reemerge into non-physical what you will discover in the moment of your consciousness shift is that you've left all of your resistance behind and you are now communicating with all of us with all of them with all of your dearly not so departed in a very pure non-physical non-resistant vibration and that's why we can say so unequivocally that your planet is well-being dominant you can't pinch yourself off enough to really disrupt all of that there are too many other factors too many other physical aspects that are non-resistant in nature that are keeping the balance of all of that going well so we've sort of pulled your question a little bit into something that we want to talk about we'll get back to the specifics of what you're asking for but let's play this out a little further so there's one person that you're interacting with and then another and the mix keeps changing or a group like this where there are a lot of people but the only thing that is important to you human you in your human physical body is what you are doing vibrationally where are you emotionally are you on the upper half of the emotional chart 
on the emotional scale where you're feeling optimism or eagerness or enthusiasm or even hopefulness is that where you're hanging around because if that's where you're hanging around then all of those others now this we really want you to hear all of those others that we've been bringing into our analogy in these conversations no matter what it is that they've got going on vibrationally it becomes a non-player in your life experience because the law of attraction won't let you bring from them to you anything that you are not radiating you followed that yes in other words what's active in you is the only thing that you can get from them but the question is are you actively and deliberately prepaving and getting out ahead of things so that when you walk into a situation that's less than what you want you've got your sea legs so to speak you still have your balance and so what we're really saying to you is that when you make your transition into non-physical not one of you has one thing in the world to worry about because in the moment of that transition you leave behind any resistance and in the leaving of behind resistance you become merged with that pure positive energy where there is knowledge and knowing and clarity and insight and joy and love what we're all about here with you all in this situation is we think it would be nice for you to feel like that more of the time while you are here in this physical body where you have awareness of the importance of your mood awareness of the importance of what vibrational frequency you are emanating in relationship to your own inner being isn't that what every mood or every attitude or every emotion is it's about your relationship with non-physical so the best way here's the answer to your question and you may have a follow-up to that but the best way to understand and control that relationship with that non-physical part of you to control that relationship is by caring about how you feel and operating as best you can as often as you can from the upper half of the emotional scale and when you live a life like that mostly like that your transition into non-physical it's going to be like stepping into the next room but here's going to be the exception everybody in that room's going to be on your wavelength there aren't going to be any other physical things to observe or emotional things to sense that are going to be in your way hmm. okay did that put you at ease a little bit it, it did I want to ask something a little more detail maybe it sounds silly but I'm just kind of wondering I still want to know about the timing so if we timing of what when we come when we go where do we go are we going to other planets are we being other beings are we staying there for a while do we move back to another light physical form right away if we stay there what are we doing there so are we doing something like what you're doing so we want to say this gently okay most everything you said there was a flawed premise okay but the reason is because and it's logical why it would be so you're in a physical body trying to figure all of this stuff out from a vantage point that doesn't give you that sort of view mm -hmm. so doesn't it feel logical doesn't it sort of click into place for you that when you are in alignment with your own inner being that you'd have more access to that sort of understanding of what's going on in other words the constant in everything that you're talking about here is your inner being who is pure positive energy and always expanding as you understand yourself to be this human form of you you're not going from planet to planet to planet to other galaxies this is the leading edge that you have been prepaving oh you'll hear this easily in the same way that we talked to you about how there are some steps to creation and step one is you know what you don't want which causes you to know what you do want which causes you to launch this rocket of desire so you create this vibrational reality that we call the vortex and then that vortex version of you is calling you toward it and that's where all of your satisfaction comes from so you follow that many of you've heard us say that on many occasions yes so your inner being is that vortex version of you everything that you've intended that has created that vortex has been launched from where you stand here so it's been launched 
into another and 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 another life experience here. You see what we're getting at? That's why we say to you, your vortex has so much there that it'll keep you busy for 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 lifetimes. In other words, there's much more there than you could ever manifest only in one life experience. This is where you want to be. Humans only usually talk about wanting to be in other places when they're unhappy with what's going on here. Surely there's another galaxy far, far, far away where I would be welcome. And it's not like that. Right. Oh, this is a really good conversation for so many things that we'll be talking about later, but hold in your mind, don't work hard at this, but think in terms of where are my thoughts trending and how are my emotions trending? Because how you're feeling now and how you've been feeling and how you've been feeling is sort of why you feel like you do now and how you feel now is sort of why you're going to feel the way you feel later because most people are not deliberately choosing the thoughts in order to feel the way they really mean to feel. But you're trending in directions and this you in this physical body has been for a very long time time isn't even the right word for many more experiences you're trending in the expansion of life here on planet earth this is where you went to grade school so to speak in terms of vibrational and got your masters and your doctorate and this is where all the magnificent genius creation that you've got bottled up in your vortex that you can't yet see is there in other words the expansion of this planet is enormous you see this is a reality this matters it's always bottom half of the emotional scale situations that cause people to then begin to assume that they belong someplace else. Well, oh, I don't think I belong anyplace else. I'm just wondering why there's a mix. You hear about aliens coming here. People wonder if they're real or not real. Well, there's a lot of consciousness in the universe and you have access to thoughts. But it is our promise to you that they're never going to dig up any little bones. <laughs> there's no physical realities that are intertwining you see what we're getting at it's hard to hear that because you're looking at your world like you can go from California to New York or to Amsterdam or to England in other words you can move around this place because your consciousness that is sharing a time and a space so you can move around but there is a vibrational frequency that makes that possible for you to move around in that and so as Esther is receiving Abraham, where is the place that Abraham is? In other words, where's this non-physical consciousness coming from? Well, this non-physical consciousness is available everywhere. This is something that's hard to hear, especially if you're new to this while you are in your physical form. But here it is. What you see that you call physical reality is a long time trending of vibrational interpretation that causes so many of you to see so much of the same thing that you call it your reality. You see what we're getting at? Mm -hmm. In other words, thoughts are turning to things. And the things that so many thoughts for so long have turned to is so substantial that it causes those of you who are viewing the substance, the materialism, the manifestation, it causes you to think it's different than it is. Have you noticed that there are no pipelines from other planets bringing you resources? They're not bringing money or oil. Nothing's being trucked in from other places. And yet the evolution of this planet and what you have access to has expanded and evolved so massively and magnificently because thoughts turn to things. That's the most rudimentary way that we can say it. Focus on things causes vibration that is within the thought causes Esther doesn't have the best vocabulary for this atoms and molecules to form. You can't see them, but they're still all around. Your scientists can see things in the microscopes and in the telescopes that most of you don't see and far, 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 far beyond those contraptions ability to help you see there are the basis of what's turning into things. 
And you all are the creators that have been turning all of this into things. And yes, there are other physical universes where those people, those beings, those creators that are there are turning those things into things. But there is not an interaction between you.